your work has also uh, dealt with that comedy with a point, yeah. right, for a meaning. Um, talk about how hard that is. It can be quite difficult. Uh, I've worked for five years at The Onion, which has a very particular comedic point of view. And thanks to my former employers in healthcare, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, the, you, I think what I respect, you know, to connect your question to your work is the, the effective targeting. You know, humor is a very powerful weapon and misused is just ugly. It just deteriorates into meanness and bullying. Um, but when used appropriately, that great power with great responsibility, you really can, can move people effectively. And I thought, given the breadth of the, basically the worlds that, that you helped build, um, your targeting system was very good. <laughs> you know, you, weren't, you had so many opportunities to really mess everything up <laughs> and set us back centuries, you know? <laughs> so thank you for not doing that. <laughs> You know, we, we had a great deal of authenticity in the sense that we were a group of people sitting on each of the shows, sitting around a table. We were all scratching the barrels of our own experience. We were bringing in stories about our kids, uh, our wives, our relationships, our families, health situation. I mean, all of these things came from what we were living through. So. Uh, a newspaper story. You pick up a newspaper and you read that the incidence of, uh, of hypertension in black males is far exceeds white. Mm. I wonder why. And there's this. <laughs> and, and, well, you know why. And, and wouldn't John Amos wonder why if that? And so we, we did that story. I mean, it, we had a lot of help just paying attention. Yeah. But that's the key, that, that listening, you said that earlier, the, the ability to pay attention, and when it works well, it's because you're listening and then translating what you're hearing into, into this other format, so. You know, is it, I mean, you talk about being a serious person, um, so you wanted to have those dramatic elements. Um, I mean, what else is it that made you want to combine the serious with the funny? Because at your heart, you're an entertainer, coming from that Dean Martin sort of stuff, but your shows are not remembered for just being funny. They're all remembered for having this very serious, honest, real uh, undergirding. Well, that has more to say about the culture than it does about me. You know, before uh, the shows that preceded me that were big hits were Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres, uh, Father Knows Best, et cetera. And they were fine, they were, and they had some wonderful performers. But for some reason, uh, the roast is ruined and the, uh, and the boss is coming to dinner was a big problem. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, uh, you know, <laughs> what, what did it take to to grow up in this country and not see that as a real problem. <laughs> yeah, you can have some fun with that, but you can also have some fun with, uh, uh, with the, the serious things that were going on in the family, raising kids, illnesses, et cetera. 